wet. <laughs> it's not cooking outside if it's hot sunny day. I'm all wet. It's dripping. Until like what part? Until because it will until that part will not cook. Make my experiment, which I will try uh, to test it now in Belgium. So I will uh, use my valise or zip hip first to remove the big uh, dust, big uh, debris, and then after we'll try to vacuum the same place to see how that micro dust, micro particles, if they will be or not. And for now, as you can see, the vacuum is clean. Guys, we have had to transfer, we ran away from that field because the uh, person came to pick up the cow and then it, the person came with 10 or 15 skulls and they were all barking and doing that howling sound like a wolf. Wonderful and beautiful morning here in our province. So it's currently uh, almost 11 a.m. now in the morning, and uh, today is Sunday actually. So yeah, we are at home for now, and the weather today is, guys, it's so beautiful. I don't know. I um, I will now drink my coffee with our uh, fruits that um, we prepared the other day with my husband. The jackfruit, I love it so much, so I cannot stop eating it. And then I have some papaya, and, uh, ripe papaya. So I will just now drink a little bit of coffee before we start uh, cooking for lunch because it's already going to uh, be lunch time. Yeah, and then I just want to take some moment here to enjoy the weather and the um, uh, serenity of our garden because it's so quiet today I only can hear the birds chirping and then and the very a lot of lush green lush uh, surroundings and then it's just giving so a uh, peace of mind and then just a uh, good uh, you know good um, mood to start or that's already a little bit late not start but just you know setting a good vibe for the day I like to um, stay like this little bit with nature because it's making me feel um, pleasant inside and feel better so yeah so i'm preparing now my snack and then my son now inside playing with his toys and husband is working so they're waiting for their lunch and uh, we will cook lunch later together as a person who was born and raised far from asian culture i can say that it took quite long time for me to adjust to a lifestyle here in the philippines but i cannot describe it as something negative more unusual, new and interesting sometimes. I can surely say that this life experience changed me a bit, probably to a better version of myself. One of the many personal changes that I've noticed is to live more conscious, fulfilling and a bit slower and less anxious. I stopped chasing the deadlines or being worried for something which not happened yet. I started care less about other people's opinion in some aspects. Every culture has its own chicken soup version. In the Philippines it's called Tinolan Manok or Chicken Tinola. So guys, I'm already done with my uh, coffee and fruit snack and I'm feeling much better now and then so refreshed and I already prepared my ingredients here actually for our Tinolan Manok so I'm very happy that yesterday in Palenque and I will repark it upon lemongrass because uh, I know that it's easier right uh, here to see lemongrass it's like everywhere you told me somebody uh, commented before that I can plant my own lemongrass so I can easily find it on the street yes I search it right but I don't know why in our neighborhood here there is no lemongrass there is malungai uh, leaves but they don't have lemongrass so I was so happy because I love when there is a lemongrass in chicken tinola, tinola manok so we have this one to be very good today I already assume then onion chives a ginger look at this guys look at the ginger in the, our market yesterday how it's cool it's so big and fresh here the ginger garlic on onion right garlic then 
Ася Йотен, we have two. And chicken, so we will start cooking already because it's almost lunch time. And Mikhail is hungry, right, Mikhail? Mikhail, you want to eat the tunka? <laughs> yes, good to me. We are hungry, so we will start now and then I will cook rice here. All right, guys, let's do it. Let's start cooking. I fell in love with Tinolan Manok right after I've tried it for the first time. But it took quite time for me to achieve the original recipe flavor. Now this dish is one of the weekly staples in our multicultural family. So we'll start now to uh, stir fry a little bit our chicken with um, ginger, garlic and onion and then we'll add water already and continue cooking. Guys look this one, it's wet. <laughs> it's when cooking outside if it's hot sunny day I'm all wet like this. Dripping down man. No need gym cook outside in the dirty kitchen in the Philippines. It's all the toxins coming out. Anyway, so my uh, chicken is now a little bit um, boiling, then I will add the sayote, I will prepare now. Sayote, lemongrass, and then patis. Uh, it's a fish sauce here in the Philippines. Patis. Where is my patis? Here it's hiding. There's my patis. We will add this one, and I will... I will put in the end the onion chives already in the very last minutes. So here guys our sayote and it goes right to the chicken. I cannot say which chicken soup I prefer more, Western Russian version or Filipino Tinolan Manok. It really depends on the mood of the day. But I can definitely say that I am grateful for our marriage, that I have learned other cultural cuisine, traditions and lifestyle. I've learned a lot of household things which I've never used before in Russia. Some of them shocked me, some I loved. But I will describe this experience in some upcoming vlogs. What I can say based on my observation is that to be a Filipino homemaker or a housewife is a lot more difficult physically than in Europe for example. But if you commit into this, I think it is possible with some experience. Alright guys, so Tinola Manok is ready and then um, my husband Daryl already joined us after his work. Hi! Yeah, hot day, so Mikhail really was asking for morning. So Mikhail asked to make homemade popsicles, right Mikhail? The ice cream. And then he has these cute little shapes with cars. Oh, what is that Mikhail? Submarine. Yeah, so the submarines we will make it now really clean before um, because it will take um, I think six hours or more to freeze. Uh, so maybe until dinner it will be done at least. Yeah. Tina, what's the flavor of your popsicle today? Mm -hmm. Banana milk and that one, mommy. Banana milk and mango. Are you excited? <laughs> I'm excited to eat it and to wish my pops one. You ready? No. Yeah, I'm ready. So, Daryl added a little bit of this one condensed, but only um half of tablespoon, I think, and we will try it again. No. Mama will help. Until like what part? Until the soup. Because it will until that it will not fit one. Okay. 
Like that, Sina, there is no fun closure. Ah, too much I put. It's it's fun, it, will it will not remove, it will stick. Remember, like last time, and because of that, it's sticking upstairs and we cannot pull it out. Ah, that one is fine because only without it. Which wall, let's put it in the rear. Yeah, I'm not reaching. So done? Yeah. Okay. Mommy, I don't eat it. When it will be frozen? Yeah, I don't eat it all. You will eat it all? Yeah, I like it. It's not too much. Mm -mm, mommy, put it on the freeze. Now we will uh, we already done with our lunch and uh, my son will take a nap soon. But first I want to make my experiment which I mentioned earlier. So I will try uh, to test it now in bedroom. I will uh, use my valise or silhig first to remove the big uh, dust, big uh, debris. And then after we will try to vacuum the same place to see how that micro dust, micro particles which I was talking about if they will be or not. And for now, as you can see, the vacuum is clean, so it's uh, empty. So let's check. My hands are shaking, stifle my breath. You look so lovely, it scares me to death. Used to get so insecure with you, it's different Yeah, just something about you makes me so sure Don't know what it is, but You make me wanna stay, take a leap of faith I know that just and then, So here this area, right? We did Right now, let's uh, do this one And I will not also vacuum deep under bed Because I didn't room it there So we will see the real how it is, okay? Talk two times I am very grateful that my husband supports my needs and helps me in my housework. So it was only a little bit, so I'm repeating that it's like only the square. I didn't go deep, it was just flat, right? After blooming. Now it look, guys. You see that on the light? That a uh, lot of hair, maybe hair is hard to because it's twigging in the broom or the rug. I also recommend this. But look at the uh, gray. The gray, that small, mm -hmm. like powder dust. That's it. I think that's the culprit of what happened to my eyes started suddenly. And the mention all over here in the walls, so I will really use. I'm so grateful. Thank you, love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you to Daryl because he he was the one who suggested like to have a vacuum again because I think we cannot you know how we both love to compose my thought. We cannot uh, re really like remove that. Micro dust. Micro dust, mm -hmm. so allergy and co allergy poison dust. So just you know, also for the breathing, right? The child is here also with us, the kid. So I think it's very, very useful, guys. Not like to be like something like how you call it. Mm, ch 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 <laughs> yeah, like uh, I want a vacuum. I cannot clean without vacuum. No, we love. Daryl knows, and keep on asking to restock my seal hicks and my <laughs> list. I really love it. Yes, Mikaela. Also, guys, I forgot to mention that this video and the previous vlog is not sponsored by my blender that uh, uh, brand or vacuum brand. No, it's not sponsored. It's my own. I'm just sharing my own experience and my own opinion to this uh, matter. Maybe it will be helpful to someone. So, yeah, not sponsored vlog. <laughs> I am trying to make some quality family time always, aside from cooking or cleaning. Today, it was a good weather, so we went for a walk in the evening. Good evening guys everybody, my young B and it's already actually evening and we're already outside so I didn't uh, feel much when I was in the house because I was uh, so occupied with my general cleaning and apparently it's never ending. I just made one room. I think it will take one week to two weeks maybe to make really very thoroughly like I want. Anyway, we're already outside and we, we drove and decided to stop in this area. It's like a field, very countryside look, right, Mikael? Yeah, mommy. Ah. You buy so late. 
There is a cow in there, and then Mikhail is here with me. Mikhail, say hello. Hello. What are you going gonna do now? Yeah, so we're here for uh, we're here for a purpose, for a reason, because we promised Mikhail already a few days, but it was rainy or bad timing. We will fly the kite. So we got a kite the other day in the town center, and we still didn't have chance to fly because in our place there is a lot of trees and um, tall trees that will just stuck in there. So we decided to find some area which is flat, like field or something. And not crowded so we, we found this small little field and we will try to do it now first time we don't know if we'll succeed or not because actually it's getting dark and it's already sunset so it will be very very um maybe 30 minutes and no more sun so we will try right mikhail mm. yes it's all right while we were talking dada dada is already assembling your time come here wow Mama, so cool, it's even the eagle kite. Careful, there is a stick. Um, careful, Mikhail, the motor is hot. This one, yeah, that they will assemble. We don't know that they said it's not complicated. So, we will wait. Roll. Wow, our kite is so big. It's, I think, if to sleep it, it will be, it will be taller than that. Um, Guys, we have had to transfer, we ran away from that field because the uh, person came to pick up the cow and then it, the person came with 10 or 15 skulls and they were all barking and doing that uh, howling sound like a wolf because we have kite and then the person wanted to chase them away from us but we got nervous because if you watching my vlog from last year but i'm sure that all almost all people who's watching is new you know that uh, my husband was beaten in cebu city by a stray dog it was rabies and we undergone treatment everything but it's already in the past uh, half year ago just before christmas before we transferred here but he bought the chicken and was walking home with food in the hand and the dog approached the back and bite his car if situation like that we always running away going away because we cannot like just chase them off we're no nervous Mommy, mm. what the don't yeah so we transferred a little bit closer to touristic spot the cliff of who knows pantayan knows but there is an area, the third stop, which is empty and it's a parking, I think. And it's getting dark. It's very quiet, actually. Let's go, guys, down. We will show the water level. We can see, actually, there there is water. And I think it's also very peaceful and beautiful to fly. Mikhail is trying to fly, but it's the wind, guys, is gone. We transferred. And now there is no wind. Yeah, it's kind of stagnant. <laughs> Ah. And then guys, the water, it's actually low tide, I think, or coming high tide, it's low, usually here we can even, until these trees, sometimes there is water, pink sky, I think it's gonna rain tonight, it's actually quite cold wind, and then there is people, local people, catching something or washing, we will not make it, and then the cliff, a touristic spot, is already behind this corner, so there, there is cliff. Ah, yes, it's low tide. Oh, thunder! It's low tide and the people are catching something. I think uh, maybe clams. Oh, it will fly your catch. <laughs> wow. Now windy. No, 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 no. Sina, come on. Being a family means you are a part of something very wonderful. No matter what cultural difference you may have. Take care everyone, stay happy and kind. Bye for now.